the best hip hop and R&B for the past 30 years. Check out our sister station, UBM Jam, by selecting it at our homepage at urbanbroadcastmedia.com. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. So wonderful, so beautiful, sunshine and laughter and music, you are so easy to love, you're my best friend, always understand, open and honest and giving, you are so easy to love, when I'm near to you, even close to you, you Lift me higher, I'm brighter, you are so easy to love. Your love is so faithful, tender and kind. I love you forever, good times and bad times, no matter, you are so easy to love. So easy, so easy to love, so easy, so easy, so easy to love. is down and you come around you lift my spirit I feel it so easy to love when your face I see and you smile at me when we're together so happy so easy to love passion live for joy love's never true always encourage Loving you're so easy to love. You save me, you raise me, safe in your arms. Yeah, and I love you forever. Good times and bad times, no matter. You are so easy to love. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Politics, doctrine, current events. Let's meet at the controversy corner on the Sir Walter Jones Show here on UBM Plays. This is Keep It Real Carter here at the intersection of controversy and single women. Now I must preface my discussion today with the Bible. David, King David had on record eight wives and ten concubines. And his son Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. So men, we do get married, but you do the rest. Fill in the blank. Is modern day men having another woman cheating or is that just his concubine oh no wow that's something to think about of course y'all not gonna agree with me but seriously talking one of the problems women have with marriage or the lack thereof is the waiting you don't wanna wait the loneliness Men have a problem with waiting and loneliness too. More so the confinement. 
But the truth be told, the problem is, you all do until he says I do, then you don't no more. That's right. So the signs of whether or not he's the one, if you'll allow me to borrow a few words from a great song by Whitney Houston, says, there's a boy I know, and he's the one I dream of, looks into my eyes and takes me to the clouds up above. Oh, I lose control and can't seem to get enough of uh-huh. But when I wake from dreaming, tell me, is this really love? How will I know? Don't trust your feelings. How will I know? Love can be deceiving. Listen, ladies, the only way you will know if he's your Boaz, if he can do for you like Boaz did for Ruth, if he can do for you like Solomon did for Sheba, as well as his seven other wives and three other concubines. <laughs> So what are you saying? If he can afford to keep me and his women, I stay. No, that ain't what I'm saying. What I'm really saying to you is this. If you can't wait on God, don't sit, don't even worry about waiting on no man. In his presence is where you belong until he comes and brings you out. That's why the father gives the bride away in the wedding ceremony. Wow. <laughs> wow. Bobby, I love you. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> That's the controversial corner you hear it every night here. <laughs> On you being praised, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central. Yeah, that was hot D. That's cocky get by. So, look, you mess with the cocky, you gonna get by. You will. <laughs> you will get by. That's true. Someone mentioned the um, uh, the Proverbs 31 lady uh, in the Bible. Uh, Pastor Joshua did, and um, one of the wonderful things about that story, Pastor Davis, is um, we focus on her. But there was a line in that, in all of those those scriptures in the story, that said something about her man. Mm-hmm. It says that her man was in the street, so with a, with his boys, and he's praising her. Mm. Why is he out there with his boys? He could be at work. He could be at the marketplace. We what have about you? That a few weeks ago. Yeah, too. yeah. You know, you his woman. Uh-huh. When he talks about. When he you. talks, yes. So the the boys is looking at my new suit. And said, "Man, dude, that's sharp. Man, where you get it from?" And he not he don't say, "I went to the store and my I wife, my, my wife, my, baby, my, wife, my, my, my wife." Way. Absolutely, like these shoes yeah. I got on mm-hmm. the day. Thank mm-hmm. you, babe. Yep, yep. His wife, <laughs> wife. Yeah. So there's something apparently that that convinced him of her worth. Something that she did apparently, or that's something that she continues to do to convince him. Now we were talking earlier about rescheduling. Uh, elders <laughs> Tyrone <Uh-oh. laughs> it's rescheduling the wedding for whatever reason have you have, have you had that situation to happen to you oh yes that that I know that so so well uh with my marriage now um uh, we had set a date for actually last last year may of last year mm-hmm. and um come March two months before the wedding I said nope can't do it and 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 here's the thing I call myself going. <laughs> I call myself. <laughs> I call myself going away to, and I, I put this in quotation marks. Hear from God, sure, concerning you know this, this up and coming marriage. Right. And um, truth be told, fact is, and I, I'm gonna get myself in trouble, but <laughs> truth, be, truth be told, don't tell it, don't tell it, don't tell it, please don't. At the time, something else had caught my eye. Sure. It was a car. Yes. Yes. It was Lexus. Shoes. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Lexus. <laughs> LS 400. A sweater. Oh, no. You know, and, and, and I thought that, you know, that, that it could be what I wanted. Sure. But, you know, when I took a, a closer examination. Uh, it had pimples. Bad transition. <laughs> <laughs> transmission wasn't no good. <laughs> Looked beautiful on the outside. Absolutely. Interior is all But the inside up. was all jacked up. Been wow. And, and here's Elder Walter where it's important. Mm-hmm. We talk about ladies knowing their worth. The woman that I am with now, my wife, she stood there and she allowed me to see uh, what her value was to me. Okay. And it's not about her having a job. It's not necessarily, it certainly is about what she brings to the table, sure. but a job is not uh, not a part of that. Yeah. I, I'm fortunate enough and blessed enough to, to be very well paid by my employer uh-huh. and uh, can take care of the household. Sure. Uh, but those things that I cannot do, uh, those things that I lack in, she makes up for it some tremendously. Wow. And that's where she adds value to us. That's that's where she adds value to our relationship. So, you know, after I came down what I call uh, the, the false mountaintop experience, mm-hmm. we're mm-hmm. going to hear, from, call myself going to hear from God. I came to myself and realized the uh, the jewel that I had before me, seriously. And uh, that other thing just wouldn't have, wouldn't have panned out. 
Wow. It would not have That's a great down. testimony. That is. Yeah. That's it's wonderful. Very transparent, man. Thank you for that. That that's that is so true. That's one of the, the things on my list. I got about nineteen on the list here and we and we we kind of dab, delved into a lot of these. Let's get a few I mean, more real quick. What I'm mean, asking. Oh, I'm trust me, I do. I go on, I am going there. <laughs> <laughs> um one of the ones here that I, I find uh ex, ex, extraordinarily true is he's not attracted to you anymore. But he's still with you, okay? He's either not attracted to you because you're not attractive anymore, oh, or there is someone uh, like like uh, uh, Elder just said. There's something else. Well, I also have to throw in there a men's health issue, and this is serious. Mm-hmm. As we get older, you hear on TV a lot about low T, right? That has an impact. I do believe that, that. has an impact, yeah. and sometimes you're not. W- women are no longer attractive because. That desire has diminished a man, yeah. and he's too ashamed to even admit it. That's so he true. transfers his focus on so many other things. Yeah, yeah. So if you're young and still got your muscle, keep working out. Yeah, yeah. Keep exercising. Yeah. Keep the testosterone flowing because sometimes that that moat in your eye mm-hmm. turns into a limp noodle. That that that's true. <laughs> that's, yes, he did. This is that's why they call him keeping it real, Carter. I wish he'd keep it real at home. Uh, uh, Pastor Joshua, what is there a solution to this? Can is there something that a man could do, uh, or what can a woman could do? They both got to do something because if she's not attractive anymore to him, you can't force people to be together. Right. But yet he's still holding on to her for some reason. Um, I look at it like this. It, it, because it, it has a couple of factors to it um, Without being too long It has a couple of factors I look at it like this um, Number one Is the woman or the man let's, let's say the woman or the man But since we're coming from a man's perspective if if Is the woman constantly keeping herself up Like she did when I first met her mm. um, yeah. Am I coming home to uh, Like you look when you look 10 years ago mm. Or Am I coming home because you have got comfortable with the relationship mm-hmm. wow. that you're not um, continually to keep yourself up? You go back to the Proverbs uh, 31 woman. She made sure she took care of things. She beautified herself. She never did. She never allowed herself to lack in any area. So the attraction was still there. My mm-hmm. wife is fine. Every time hey, she's she, she fine. She's super fine. I, mm-hmm. I, I, t- I told her I love you in all the right places. Mm-hmm. And, and the thing about <laughs> it is because she continues to keep herself up you know um she 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 dresses very nice she she does all the external things that keeps the attraction going mm-hmm. um but then on the flip side is is there a lust issue right is there a lust issue with the with the individual is because i know um pastor said the older man but let's what about the younger man mm. um whose testosterone is still kicking real strong oh yeah and, and the thing about it is is there a lust issue <clears throat> oh is, yeah is, is a this lust person issue. is it because because we as men i've learned that we are visual creatures yes. we're moved by what we see yes. uh women are more moved by what they hear and the thing about it is 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 am i dealing with lust things have i have i overcame it we had david as the king he was a king but he still dealt with lust. Yeah. Yeah. He was in a he was in a position to rule a nation, but he still dealt with lust. And one thing I learned about a long time ago that if we don't deal with that thing, that thing is going to eventually come back and kill us. Ooh. It's, it's going to come back and kill us if we don't confront it. We have to first identify it, and then we have to confront it before we can conquer it. And, and, and I know that if if I'm falling out of attraction with you, I have to do some inner soul searching and say, okay, am I dealing with lust? If it's not lust. Are you still keeping yourself up? Wow. Wow. And that's something, yes, and I agree. Uh, 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 Ella, you want to say something about that? Well, I was just going to add that I I heard a preacher say this uh, before, is that you can't continue uh, to flirt with what you're trying to cast out. Mm. (laughs) Meaning this is that if I know for a fact that I I deal with lust issues, you know, I I'll, I'll, I can freely admit that my mouth gets me in trouble a lot of times. So, you know, I've been... You got in, that in, problem too? <laughs> in times past, <laughs> have been very flirtatious. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Jesus. I know that, no, I, I'm not going to cross that line right. because eventually conversation leads to other mm-hmm. things and, and mm-hmm. we just don't want to go that route. Mm-hmm. So if, if I'm saying that I'm trying to deal with this particular issue, mm-hmm. why continue to flirt around with it? Yeah, that's you good. 